Namaste friends. Welcome to AgriNalyz. In this video, we are going to see about PCA analysis using AgriNalyz software. So the software will give few graphs, then uh, written interpretation as always, and uh, few data in the Excel. So this is the by plot where we have principal component one on x axis, two on y axis, and these are the genotypes and these are the traits like H1, GY, all these are traits. The second graph is also same. We uh, made just some adjustment in the label positioning so that it can be read better. In third graph, we don't have genotypes. The graph is same. It is the distribution of the traits across the principal components. Then in this graph also some adjustments are made for more readability. In this graph we have only genotypes and not traits. Same made some adjustment for more readability. Then we have this scree plot. Then x axis we have principal component number and we have eigenvalue here. This is also a scree plot but without that histogram part. And here the scree plot is somewhat different instead of eigenvalue on y-axis we have percentage of variance explained on y-axis same but without histogram and finally we have this correlation of variables or traits with the principal components then there is also a level one analysis interpretation written by the website only uh, so this is based on the Kaser's rule that for those principal component whose eigenvalue was greater than 1 it will write interpretation for that only and uh, it will also give you the Excel in first we have this variance explained by the principal component this is the standard deviation or eigenvalue then this is the proportion of variance and this is the cumulative variance Similarly, this is the loading value that is the correlation between the traits and the principal component and we have the principal component scores also. Let's see how to arrange the data. The data must be arranged in a CSV format. First, I have kept genotype. If your data is replicated, then I am writing like this G1, G1, G1. Uh, it will take the mean while during analysis, so it will perform group by of, on your genotype. So this three G1, 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 these three uh, replications will become one uh, for that specific genotype G1. And on the other, other columns are regarding the traits. All these columns must be numeric in nature. So either you can uh, place the mean values of the genotype or you can have the replicated data. If you have replicated data, it will take mean uh, automatically. So and if your data is in excel sheet i am getting uh, uh, questions like so in order to convert your excel sheet to csv just go to this click on this file and then save as and here you know you need to choose this csv utf 8 comma limited file so this will convert your excel file into csv file mine file is csv only so now let's jump to the website. This is the home page of website. Website name is www.agrianalyze.com. If you are using for the first time, you need to register yourself by using your mobile number and email ID. And then you can uh, use this website. Go to this analytical tool. In this, there is a genetics and plant breeding analysis option. And here select principal component analysis GPB. So we have added the word GPB because we have some changes for the principal component analysis in context to plant breeding. Normal principal component analysis is also available in multivariate analysis and principal component. So here we will choose the CSV file that I have shown to you guys. So it's a CSV underscore data. And in this genotype, I need to select this genotype column and the rest of the uh, variables or traits can be seen here 
try to make sure that you keep your column name uh, small because in your all your graphs and uh, you know if your column name is very large the graph will look very clumsy and also if your number of genotypes are large then keep the name of the genotypes like G1, G2, G3 or you can also use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that and if the number of genotypes are less let's say 15, 20 then you can give the proper name of your genotypes then I am clicking on this submit on clicking on the submit button you will get this summary basic summary that is I have 40 genotypes total number of observation were 20 because my data was replicated thrice in RCBD then my number of trades are 9 these are the nominal charges to perform the analysis but currently if you are performing analysis and if it's written free then it's like no charge otherwise it will have some nominal charge and if you are a student then while selecting that thing you can also opt for that option you will get some discount now click on the submit button once I click on the submit button I am all done no need to write you no know, code and do you know any analysis it will do automatically for you now click on this download button and you can see our analysis got downloaded so we got this zip file in zip file these are the 11 graphs all possible different types of graph with very high clarity you can see and this is the PCA interpretation file that I have shown and this is the PCA output that contains the uh, variance proportion explained by the principal components correlation matrix and PC scores also uh, uh, I would like to share with you the you know clarity of the graph I am just zooming it you can see it's it's a very clear graph I hope you like this service of AgriAnalyze uh, and if you have any questions or queries feel free to reach out to us. The link of the data set in the output file are given in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.